Yo, what's up YouTube? It's your boy Will Motivation and we are back with another video. And this time we are in my Audi S6 brand new leather seats. This is actually a 2021 Audi S6. I just got it about a week ago. Only have 500 miles on it. And if it looks like I'm in here getting hot, it is because I am hot. So let's go ahead and start the car up. Yep. As you guys can probably see from the uh, title and description of this video and probably a thumbnail, yeah, we're having some problems with the S6, man. I just got it. Let me show you guys how many miles I have on it. Look, I have 613 miles on it. So it's brand new. I was getting ready to go on a road trip with my buddy Sean to go pick up his R8. And on the road, man, we had some bad luck. Uh, it started raining, so I had to roll the windows up and turn the AC on. And when I turned the AC on, this little button right here, AC, like it's on auto low, it blows hot air. Like it just doesn't get cold at all. So the AC is broken. Uh, so let me turn that off. And I called into the dealership. They said for me to bring it in, they'd give me a loaner. And there, maybe it just doesn't have any uh, Freon in the system. So um, I'm hoping that is something as simple, simple as that, maybe in the, in the um, factory. Because uh, actually, when you do the preparation for these cars, I believe you, they, they, when they ship these cars, I believe they drain uh, a lot of the fluids and stuff out of the car. So once they come over stateside, they have to fill them up with all the different fluids and stuff. So one of those fluids might have been Freon, and so somebody prepping the car, Maybe they didn't put a uh, free on it. So I'm hoping that's what it is, but uh, we're gonna drop it off and find out. So I figure I'd let you guys know how things were going with this Audi S6, because if it's something crazy and they can't fix my car really fast, then I feel like you guys should know about it because somebody else might be out there wanting to buy an S6 and you just need to be like buyer beware. So let's go, let's roll out. Other than that though, man, let me roll down these windows. <laughs> Other than that little issue with the um, AC going out, I really was starting to bond with this car. I was really enjoying this car. It's got a lot of nice features on it, like the digital remote on my garage. I was really starting to dig this car, man. But unfortunately, I got to take it back. So let's see what kind of loaner they give me, man. Hopefully, I, I seriously doubt that it will be as nice as the S6. But we can always cross our fingers. <laughs> let's make a bet. Drop me a comment right now. Uh, we're going to the Audi dealership, right? So drop me a comment. The first person that guesses the right loaner car gets a free t-shirt. First person. All right, so uh, coast is clear. <laughs> I don't think the police want to see me recording a vlog while I drive. So shout out to my neighbor who's a police officer. <laughs> But, uh, you know, I'll just tell you guys about this car, man. I was really starting to bond with this car. It's got great power. It seems like it's getting more and more powerful as I drive it. Yeah, our AC went out, so we gotta take it to the dealership. Let's go. Okay, so I am in the loaner car. So you guys make sure you drop a comment and guess what the loaner car is. Obviously it's an Audi because we dropped the car off at an Audi dealership. But what's the lesson of the day right here? You know, we're gonna figure out what's wrong with the car, but I'm gonna drop this video. You know, I'm having, like first it was the blowout with my Ferrari F12, the tire blew out, that was crazy. Now the AC went out on my S6, so the question is, Am I mad or upset, you know, with the situation with the Audi S6, uh, you know, AC going out? Short answer is no. I'm not, I'm not upset right now. Now, if it takes them a long time to fix it, then yeah, that, 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 that could, that could be an issue. <laughs> but like stuff happens, right? And 
the people that work at the dealership, these guys that work at the dealership, they didn't build the car, so it's not their fault if something is wrong with like the AC compressor or or somebody forgot to fill it up with Freon. That the, the guys that work at this dealership, that's not their fault. Their job is to report back to Audi, of course, and make sure everything is good. But you know, lesson of the day is don't let don't sweat the small stuff, man. Don't don't let stuff that can happen that is going to happen in life different different situations don't let that get you overly upset and distract you from staying focused to whatever you're building or whatever your mission is or whatever you're focused on don't let these minor little setbacks inconveniences overly upset you because then you won't be able to concentrate on what's really important so they gave me a loaner i'm gonna show you guys the loaner once we get back to uh my house but yeah, man, don't let the, don't sweat the small stuff, man. This stuff, this kind of stuff happens. I already ordered now that tire from my, my that tire from my uh, F12. And then again, that's not anybody's fault either. Like I don't know where that object came from that I hit on the freeway. It was spinning across the freeway. Man, that's nobody's fault either. Whoever littered or whatever, that's probably their fault. But I mean, who are you gonna get mad at for that? You know. Um, now that the price of that tire though is no joke. That tire. Those rear tires are 335, 25, 22s, right? So they're low profile, wide tires, uh, Pirelli P0s. Those freaking tires cost me $600 for one tire. $600 for one tire. So while I do not like paying $600 for a tire, which is the most I have ever paid for a tire, man, what else are you gonna do? Like, you gonna sit there and be mad about it? You, you gotta pay the price, man. I mean, I could get like some type of tire insurance or something like that. Maybe I could figure out what's up with that, but I don't have tire insurance at the moment. So got to smile and uh, pay the price. So anyway, man, lesson of the day, don't sweat the small stuff, man. Stay positive. And uh, let's see what kind of rental car we got right here. All right, so who's ready to win their free t-shirt? <laughs> and the rental car is an Audi S5. Or I'm sorry, not an S5, I'm talking about A5. <laughs> they gave me an Audi A5 as a loaner. I used to think these were only two doors. But apparently they make four door A5s. Nice driving cars. Got me like 38 miles per gallon. Kind of jealous about that, but yeah, I guess I'll be driving that for a week if I don't drive a Mustang. Audi is fixed. Time to go pick her up. Let's go. I'm excited. All right, so we just arrived to Audi service. Dropping off this uh, rental car or loaner. What they call it. It's a nice, this, I think this is an SQ Q8, but it's not an SQ8. It's a nice little color. So yeah, we're going to drop off this uh, loaner car, pick up my vehicle, and uh, hopefully it is good to go, which I expect no issues. But uh, very nice of them to give me a loaner car and and fix my car so quickly. So it's only been here a couple days, literally like two days. So my car has literally only been here a couple days. So I feel like that's about as fast as you're gonna get a car fixed. So let's go pick it up, man, I'm excited. Yeah, get my car back. I was starting to bomb with that thing. Yo, check out this RS5. So this is the um, 2021 version. Now, you guys tell me what you think, but this fake honeycomb I'm not feeling the fake honeycomb and it's a little softer um, the edges are softer than the older RS5 they rounded everything off I do like that side splitter I need this one on my S6 I need the side skirt I do like that it's got carbon fiber shout out to Richard Fain every time I say carbon we got to give homage to Richard Fain he's the carbon king I believe he may have a patent on carbon that interior is sick though it's got a back seat on it in it <laughs> i'm not used to back seats no more very clean now the interior i'll give it a plus but this exterior i don't like how they rounded it off man you guys let drop me a comment let me know what you think of the styling of the latest rs5 um i don't know man it looks soft it doesn't look aggressive and edgy enough for me i do like the color scheme <laughs> obviously i got some red and black cars in my garage but 
that's the RS5, man. Now we already know it's fast. And the tuning capabilities are probably over the moon. But we got something waiting for us that we can tune as well. So let's go see my baby. And we'll thank the service guy for taking care of us. Hey, thanks again. Yeah, he got it. He gave it to me. Okay. I'm good. Thanks. Thanks, man. Yeah. All right, you too. There's my baby. Yeah, the S6. So for those of you guys that maybe are tuning in because you heard about my little misfortune with my brand new 2021 S6, the AC went out on it. Nothing major. I'm not mad at. I'm not mad at. You know the Audi dealership. I'm not. I'm not even mad at Audi. You know, ish happens. I'm not gonna say the bad word. What I <laughs> how the saying goes, but stuff happens, man. Hopefully now, hopefully they get it to where it doesn't happen again, right? That's what you. Everybody's entitled to that mistake on something or something being broken. Everybody's entitled to that. But what you want is. What do y'all think about the styling of the S6? Do y'all like it? It's a little different. It's a, it's a little rounded off as well, but it's got some edges we can work with. I did order some side skirts, thanks to one of my subscribers who recommended that I uh, go with a company called Maxton, I believe. So when we get the side skirts and everything, we'll of course shout the company out. But this car needs side skirts badly because it's got a recessed like edge there made for side skirts. But to my point, what I was trying to say is like, Stuff happens, right? So, if it happens once, that's cool. If it happens twice, that's an issue. So hopefully it doesn't, we don't have any more issues with the uh, the AC. Now, what was the problem for those of you guys that are like, well, I have an S6 or I have an Audi or I'm thinking about getting a 2021 Audi. The issue was an AC compressor switch that went out. And like I said, it's a component. Who knows who made the component? Some, probably somewhere in Germany or something like that. But, uh, it went out and they fixed it, replaced it. They had it in stock and uh, we should be good to go. My AC should work. And other than that, the car has been great. So yeah, that was that's what it was. And I'm happy to have the car back because I was just starting to bond with the car. I got about 500 miles on it and I really like it. It's fast. I can't wait to uh, do some things, some mods to it, tune it, throw some wheels on it. And this thing will be good to go. Yeah. Oh yeah, for those of you guys who haven't seen it, let me show you the interior real quick. Let me show you guys. There's the interior. It's like a it's like a wine red color leather with um a little bit of Alcantara right there. But it's a beast though. It's uh car's fast, smooth, which was my main thing why I got it is because it's smoother than like my S3. So let's take this thing home. It's the one and only Floyd Money Mayweather. I'm here to tell you guys to go to Wheel Motivation. The exotic cars is crazy. I've been watching this show for a little while now and it's growing. But we need everybody else to subscribe to Wheel Motivation and support Wheel. I'm supporting them. You do the same.